commentary track for the Halloween episode of Box Mac, episode 17. Look at those beautiful pumpkins. It reminds me of the beauty of fall. We took all of this footage. Yes. This is not stock. The lens was 85 millimeter <laughs> F2 Nikon. <laughs> That's the cinematog- <laughs> cinematographer talking, EJ Massa. Now, all the set decoration was done by, by Miss Nina, right? Pretty much. Yep. We went to Spirit Halloween and we picked up stuff but we also have we've accrued our own collection of halloween decorations over the years we yeah have, we have lots and lots of halloween decorations. yeah you guys are really super into halloween you're getting me into halloween i i really i really like it if you've watched the blooper reel you know how many times the uh the the the, the little stick that's in his mouth that we're puppeteering this with kept breaking i can just see the flops per dowel counting down like yeah. six seven five four three two whoop, six seven five four three two one <laughs> yeah zero we, we we uh we came up with this thing called fpd flaps per dowel <laughs> Uh, it was how many flaps you get per dowel. Who yeah. did this that, art? That, uh, oh, I did that art. Mm-hmm. That's nice. I, I like that. that. I drew that. And, um, this is a farm stand just I actually, up the road from us. I, oh, well, what's cool about that, that farm stand thing is uh, it's just down the street from John's house, and it's lit with the battery-powered lights we used yeah. on the shoe. Yeah, just the smallest one, too. So it was just, I think it was just me holding it up toward the sign, or maybe it was Frank Effort. But, yeah, it did actually a really good job illuminating it. So if you need to light exterior... And you don't want to have to ask like somebody who owns the property to turn yeah. their lights on. You can just show up with your own lights. New cameras are so good in, in dark now that it's it's you know kind of uh, obvious. This looks great. I, I it's we, kind of been a while since I've watched this, and um, we just, should talk about how we forgot to do a um, an angle on this. <laughs> and so at the beginning, oh, yeah. it shows the uh, paintings, and that was uh, a fix because uh, which actually kind of worked out for you. Yeah. It, it, it made it feel more television. Um, yep. And it also, like, I had to collapse all the dialogue. So if it was overwritten a little bit, it actually kind of condensed the scene, which is nonsense to begin with. And and people thought this was green screen because I think, well, we couldn't, yeah. I tried to turn off the house lights of the, of the paint, of this painting room, mm. <laughs> the, the museum, and uh, you couldn't. And so I think it, it adds a weird backlight. So it does kind of look like a green screen, but that's actually location. On location. Yeah. This is the, what, the, is that the. Is it a UMass Dartmouth location? Yeah, it's an art gallery at a UMass Dartmouth in New in Bedford. New Bedford. Right? Yeah, this um, campus. <clears throat> nice little art gallery. It's really with, nice. With whatever art. And um, they let us in for free. And they were like, just make sure you show us the video when it's done. And we never did. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I don't think they would have minded anyway. It's was pretty nonsensical. Um, uh, great scene with uh, Maria, by the way. She's uh, Yeah, it was super. F- so, what, I mean, what I had, the reason this was like the most fun for me was when, uh, when else do you ever get to shoot in four by three? In 4K, when do you get to, like, you know, I have actors I've worked with who are like, I'd love to work uh, together again someday. And I'm like, well, I don't have a script yet. Yeah, but then this some, was such fun. something like this comes up and you're like, come out for one day. Single day shoot. Be in a um, ridiculous. Bunch of locations. I do have to say, like, it, most f- low budget film crews probably wouldn't be able to do this much stuff in one day. No. Yeah. We, we were very lean. I mean, EJ was the only cam op. Um, yeah. We did have, we have everybody who was involved in the core production except for Gary here. Yep. Uh, for the Halloween one. Um, <laughs> I love that shot. That's my favorite shot. You know, John's gaze kind of like falls apart there. Yeah, but it's it's his piercing look and yes. uh, the four by three really I think is strong there. <laughs> I remember like the okay so the joke. Not everybody gets the joke here, but no. it's it's meant to be that like it was a VHS tape that you ha- like a like had repurposed and it got taped over. <laughs> That was the joke. <laughs> and the reason it's Abo is for a few reasons. One, because we own the property. It's our movie. That's right. And two, it makes me, if, if people are fans of Box Mac and have never heard of Abo, like the f- <laughs> those several seconds, like, what the fuck was that? <laughs> um, oh, I put so much work into making this. Ah, the ghoulish? This yeah. Halloweenish looking one. So is this one. like tinted? Is that what they are? Not just that, but there's also stock footage of Halloweeny stuff behind there. Yeah, there's like an overlay oh, here of some lava like lamp. Yeah, it's really cool. And then we had to make difficult decisions about when to apply. Because originally we were going to take the entire finished 4K version of it and dub it to VHS and then dub yeah. it, and then digitize it again. And then we were like, well, no, some of it should be in HD and some of it should be 16.9. And it, it became this kind of creative challenge of figuring out when the VHS look made sense. And even just the fact that, like, why subconsciously does VHS equal Halloween in our minds? But it totally does. And I think yeah. it's because people are used to having goosebumps on tape. And, yeah, yeah, and it, plus it, it kind of evokes that old Blair Witch thing, you know, yeah. found footage. VHS always has had, like, it's, like, the horror movie connotation. Yeah, yeah you go to the, the video store, you see the horror movie covers, and it really says horror to me. And also, we were aping, um, we were aping uh, 
Tales from the Crypt, which is was a four by three show. Maybe you would tape it off HBO when you had the free the free weekend or something. <laughs> yeah. Nope. yeah, prior to like Netflix, I remember the big thing was, was as South Park did demonstrate going to like Blockbuster or a video store and looking at like Nightmare on Elm Street and all of the horror movies and what you were what you were gonna rent. Yes. Totally. Yeah. And I, I really hope like I yeah, we put a lot of effort into this. I really hope that this becomes some people's like Halloween tradition to watch this. <laughs> I, I, I can't, absolutely too. I can't promise we'll do another one. Well, we probably will do another Halloween one, but I, I would love for the style to be very dramatically different. Yeah. yeah. Um, I, I this is a dramatic one. Uh, again, pointing out in the uh, just the episode proper here, the beautiful decorations by Nina. Yeah, this is really great. Um, uh, it really added to the mood. And the, it's the same thing for the Christmas one. You know, we, we don't really talk very much about the cameras we actually use to shoot Box Mac, do we? What were you using and what were, camera are you using to shoot this uh, particular one? Oh, oh, on this one, oh, the vlog. We got to do the vlog breakdown. Oh, yeah, we yeah. should. Um, so vlog, um, GH4 had an update um, that uh, the GH4 is the camera that we use. It's the main camera for you can see you saw it in the shot right there. But um, it's that this this angle, and then um, up up above, I think in this episode it's the seventy. Yeah, it is. and um, with a wide angle, uh, ten millimeter. Uh, wide yeah, the angle. ten to twenty two. Ten to twenty two uh, Canon, and um, and. For the the GH4, it had the V log update, which kind of gives it a little more dynamic range. It gives it gives a little better cinematic colors, and we had that feeding into this um, attachment called the Ninja Assassin, which records to 10 bit 422 ProRes. All of this means more information, more color. So you can do more with it in post. So we could get the look we wanted, and a, and a nice little monitor so that. You know, I was directing, and I could actually see what your setups looked like. And we had never worked together in a on a narrative where you were the DP and I was directing. And so having a monitor kind of helped us like see what that working relationship was going to look like. And it seemed really helpful. I mean, we've made it, films before, and it seemed like that was a real plus. It helped fast track things, like yeah. where he would he would start with an idea. And I'd be like, well, what about this? And he'd be like, yeah, true. What about this? And yeah. and within 10 minutes, we had something we were both super happy with. Yeah, and, and also Frankie could be like several feet away and they'll see everything. Yeah. yeah. Especially when he was like, say, in the scene. Or or really stuck, helps with, stuck in a cheese costume. Stuck really in helps a cheese. with keeping the pace moving of the yeah. shoot, you know? Well, I mean, I guess we could, let's break down what this, the shoot looked like in, yeah. in order. So at seven in the morning, uh, Zach, John... Gary and EJ all show up to my house. Mm -hmm. The night before, Nina and I had set up the skeleton. We have the dowel ready to flap, <laughs> and uh, and we bought a, a fog machine. Oh, yep. the fog machine! <clears throat> the fog which, machine was amazing. Which was Zach was in charge Sorry. of, more or less. Yep. Although I, I occasionally left the remote in my pocket and would lay down on it, <laughs> and the fog would just spit everywhere. <laughs> and I, I actually, the night before, I was like, it's not working for some reason. I had to go back to Spirit Halloween and swap it. Yeah. For for a proper one. Um, so I was running all around trying to make that thing work. And it turned out like, <clears throat> you know how it, in a lot of movies they'll sometimes wet down a scene so there's more reflection and more light. Mm -hmm. uh, it turned out the fog had that a similar effect. And steam does too. Yeah, and yep. it, it, it kind of diffused the light. So it, it actually, when a lot of the you know, portrait shots look really amazing, especially with the, um, the skeleton. It's like, that's some of the more amazing shots when you have the fog and the, the fake lightning machine, which yeah. makes this really <laughs> loud noise. Which is, it, which is, I mean, yeah, like I... I Bad lightning. Mm. Yeah. It was probably something you put outside your door for trick or treaters to come in, and uh, it, but we purposed it for lightning. We bought it at Spirit Halloween for like you know probably way too much, but still it, was, it, it all came to like fifty dollars or something. The skeleton was fifty dollars. It was one of the off off the shelf skeletons. Yep. John pushed me to. Uh, like to actually, because most of those skeletons don't have any eyeballs, and he was like, "You really should get some eyeballs, some fake eyeballs in there." And he was right; it, it ended up like it, yeah. really making a big difference. Because then, when you did get those nice close-ups, the, the skeleton yeah. was looking right down the back. You have an yeah. eye line, Otherwise yeah, right. You don't have an <laughs> eye line. Right. It, it was hilarious, and it added so much. <laughs> so we had we started off the morning laughing hysterically, loving that whole scene, having oh, a ton it was of fun. Great. Yeah. Um, it was a little hard for me as the puppeteer <laughs> just because of the stupid dowel thing, but it was super fun. Yeah, you're, you're, and you were like li lying down like a yeah. weird position. Yeah. Yep. And um, yeah, it, it did take like almost a third of our, or like a quarter of our day. Just <laughs> it, took about two, it took about two hours. Then we got here around in the nine o'clock hour. We went to John's, by here, I mean John's kitchen. Yeah. 
just went down to his basement, shot the basement scene real quick. <laughs> By the way, this is this is what John watches for fun, I which I had to rip from the craft website. Yeah, and you yeah. fixed that, by the way. You had to hand fix it because it was all the it was not synced. It wasn't production. synced, and I had I actually, yeah they screwed up the they sync on it, up the and sync. I had yeah. to fix it. But anyway, um, and I, you know, I, we talk about it on the show, but that's my mom's it, that 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 Velveeta costume is not meant for a third grader. Um, my parents can't believe that I used that. <laughs> so uh, we, we we shot the basement scene pretty damn quick. Yeah, um, yes. and you're learning lines. While we're setting up. Yeah, I had rehearsed a couple pieces that I was really concerned about. Um, but I was basically as we were setting up, I was I was going through memorizing lines for real. And then we jumped back. We jumped up here while we were downstairs shooting that. Nina was decorating the kitchen with Halloween That's decorations. Right. Yep. Um, then when we came up, she was all ready for us. We shot a proper box Mac episode, unscripted, just like we always do. Yep. yep. And then we we all went over to the museum. And that's when that's when you have to like cross your fingers and make sure they hope the actor showed up on time as well. Yeah, and they did. They of did. Course. They were and great. They brought, I mean, we worked they, with Maria before. She's always she was great before. Her um her stepdaughter there, Lila, was uh, was going to be with them, and I, she was like, you know, she wants to be an actress too. Like, is there any way she can be in there? I'm like, of course she can be in there. This is a box Mac Halloween show. <laughs> I mean, that's what was so fun about it. Was like you can do anything you want. Yeah, it's it's so loose, but so. I like taking it seriously in terms of the equipment and actually getting, you know. Oh, well, t- I, I, I actually screwed up the timeline. We went to uh, South Coast Neurology, where Nina oh, yeah, happens yeah. to work, and <laughs> was able to let us in, and we went down the hall and shot yeah. there. And it was like, it was on uh, Columbus Day. That's how we were able to do it, because it was yeah. closed, and we were all shooting on Columbus Day. So we, we shot this whole thing two or three weeks before it aired yeah. Yeah. in one day. And then, uh, then we went to the museum. Then we came back to John's apartment, shot the last bits that are at the end there, and uh, I edited it on the next couple of weekends, and we had a whole show ready to roll. And you know, EJ had done the um, the sketch, of course, that's at the beginning. Yep. Um, it was just on my iPad, I think. I just pulled out my iPad. I have a Sketchbook Pro program. Whipped that up in a, a night uh, after some uh, con- <laughs> some <laughs> encouragement, and then uh, yes. Um, Emily's daughter did a voiceover for us too. She, uh, she says, who's fat, uh, which is a call back to episode four, fewer, the yeah, first few episodes, uh, where she asked who is fatter of the two of us. <laughs> um, so yeah, it was like really, really quick. Yeah. Unbelievably fast. I want to make a note about, uh, Maria's, uh, stepdaughter there. Yeah. We, we, yeah, we'd made the split section decision to make her kind of an island of Dr. Moreau type yes. character. Yes. Uh, who doesn't really say much. And <laughs> We gave her, I, as a joke, I gave her one line where I was like, say, like, walk up to John in a close up and just go, you piece of shit. And uh, which I guess I would have bleeped anyway, because yeah. we normally bleep swears on the show. And then she... She did it once, very half-heartedly, like not yeah. good enough. Then she had like a powwow with her family, where I'm like, "Am I gonna get to know what happens in the movie?" Because <laughs> they were trying to figure it out, and I was like, "I wonder what they're gonna do." And then she changed it to "You make me sick," and then by that point, it just didn't work. Yeah, yeah. it wasn't strong. It made more sense just to make her silent. I mean, she character. wasn't used to acting, so I understand her her kind of difficulty with That's delivering. Right. But it's funny because her her little friend. Um, some friend of hers from school or something has watched this a million times and like wants to be involved in the next one now. <laughs> and uh, that's, that's, that's cool. funny. But uh, yeah, and you know this. I guess this kind of what the, the idea for doing the show came from. I just love Halloween. You know, loves Halloween. Yeah. And I was like, you know, of course we were going to do something for Halloween for Box Mac. But then I was like, well, what else could it be? And I. We always watch Tales from the Crypt around Halloween time, and I was like, "What if it was like, what if, what if, in, you know, every single week they watch the two of us in our kitchen making Mac? What if like fade up? It's like John driving around, and this kind of like he's an, he's a recovering alcoholic, and like wouldn't that just blow their minds? Like, what the hell are these guys doing? And then eventually it segues into a box Mac review. I just thought it was funny. So I pitched it to the people I work with and, and somebody, this guy named my, my uh, coworker, Brett said, um, you mean like tales from the craft? And I was like, genius. Now we got it. <laughs> so um, now we're, we're out of the episode. We're back into, um, oh, I love the reality of the fog. And what's cool is that the, the four by three signifies that really well. Yeah. yeah. It kind of draws the line between them. And, and yeah, the, you can see the color and the light and the, it must've been really fun to light for mood. 
Because yeah. that's another thing you never get to do. Yeah. No, yeah. You, it, it's, you're using basically one light. You get the harsh shadows. <laughs> oh, I love that shot. I think that was an impromptu j- gag that we did. Yeah, because we, we could have edited it in such a way that, like, you know, it yes, hides yes. the fact that it's coming yes. from a pocket screen. We were also amused by it just sitting there. And see the towel that is under it because the thing leaks. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> oh, that was my favorite joke. Zach Probably keeps quoting, yeah. Uh, Perhaps like a good max? I remember we, we all kind of hang out in a chat room together where we trade ideas oh, for by stuff. By the way, that Mac was gross. That's yeah. a prop Mac. That's uh, a Chip Boyardee. Chip Boyardee. It disgusting. looks fine, but it, it, it Yeah, is. it looks beautiful. And I, 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 I remember it was optional for me to warm it up, and I'm glad I did because it would have been even worse. Oh. <laughs> I love that rack focus. Yeah, it was cool. <laughs> the only thing I regret is that I, I, I wish that somehow there was like a s- skeletal... Um, you know, like x-ray of the Mac on the screen. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, that would have been kind of funny. Instead, for some reason, it's a body. The spine of some yeah. kind. The spine. I also, um, I wanted, I wanted like the fades between, kind of like the one where John's looking down the barrel of the lens. I wanted the fades to be really obnoxiously long, and we, we didn't like have the patience to do it. Yeah. But I wish we had. There's a continuity area coming up. Sure, glasses are on. Oh, yeah, it's pretty Yeah, cool. there's a few continuity areas, but <laughs> you, you, still, you don't need to pay too much attention. And, to what, and once again, it's Box Mac episode 17. So you, <laughs> so you, you get to not care. Yeah. Know? And it, wasn't there like something where this was episode seventeen, but then like, but we kind of people were like, "Where's episode 16? But we went out of order. Because what happened was, my original thought was, "Oh, well, we'll air it on Halloween Day," mm-hmm. and then they're in it. it we, we decided no, it really should be a week before Halloween, so that they have like yeah, so you can enjoy it, or or, or so that they have time to discover it before Halloween, and so that it ended up. Um, uh, what do you call it? Preempting. Oh, push them out of order. It, it, yeah, it, pu- it pushed Gluten Max out of order, yep. and so Gluten Max episode sixteen came later. But by I think there was a reason that they had to stay numbered the way they were numbered. Uh, I love. I, she, she can't. <laughs> she can't keep her shit together. No, nah, she can't. And because of the way things were staged and we were getting tired, I, I just decided to line them up like a train. Yeah, <laughs> it kind of works. Yeah, though. yeah. Like they just never look at each other. But Kitchu doesn't really grab that because of the way it's so long and thin. It's not really great for shooting much of anything except the kind of angles we use. And yeah, we we insist on doing it constantly. Yeah. Oh, I love these. Uh, oh, EJ these and I came angles. up. Yeah, we came up with this at the last second. We're because I, I we didn't know how to shoot like a guy yelling from behind a door, and we're like, well, why not just shake it all the fuck around? Yeah. So we and we did these Dutch angles, and yeah. we're just like, oh, that's kind of funny. <laughs> You can my, see the vinaigretting of the lens as you... Uh, my dad thought that was super funny for some reason. <laughs> well, I mean, it is a very... It's very... It was referenced to a very... Oh, I love that. Like, actually <laughs> rotating the Dutch angle. Yeah, it's probably just me, like, turning it. <laughs> it was, but I... Yeah, I, I plucked it out. It, but it works. It works really good. And how about this? When do you ever use a premiere lightning effect? Oh, <laughs> ever. <laughs> Never. Ever. <laughs> you don't anymore. You, you did in, like, 2001, maybe? I like to think we're the only ones to have ever shot 4x3 4K. <laughs> And you probably were at this time. And then applied VHS filters to it. Oh, <laughs> we, we, we never talked about that. So I said, yeah, we, we dubbed, um, we were going to dub it to VHS and then back. And then once we realized, like, well, sometimes we're going to want to do it in 16.9, sometimes we're going to not want to do it. Then I, ju- you know, I, I looked around for fl- plugins. Red Giant, of course, has yeah. the best plugins. Yeah, yeah, I sent you that plug, and I was like, how do we just do a yeah. plugin? And, yeah. then, and, uh, we, and it, it, it had incredible controls where you can, do, you know, it's like more Betamax or, or with some tracking yeah. or whatever. And then, like, I remember John got really fussy about it for some reason. And now, well, you know me. Now he's over it. I'm over it. Is that gray hair you got on the side there? I have gray hair. Yes, I'm old. <laughs> so that uh, there's a bunch of newspaper under that. Map. You can see yeah, it just see around it the edge. And Emily oh. made those. Those are raggedy. The maggedy ants. Those are maggedy ants. That's cool. She yeah. gifted me those years ago, and they found oh, their way I into love the that close up. Because now he gets to be in HD, unlike at the beginning when he was in uh, yeah, you know, VHS. VHS. And remember the first couple of camera setups, it wasn't quite as moodly lit. lit. Yeah, yeah. I think we were just playing around, and then yeah, uh, and, and then, then finally like, oh, we wait, got it. Uh, we got to make this spooky. <laughs> Gary, Gary is off camera. There's a fishing operating line. the arm. You can yeah. you can see the fishing line with the arm, and then I'm down below doing the. <laughs> and we just at the end we just went oh just made him. <laughs> this I loved. Uh, I, I have Zachary Maxwell there instead of Zachary Carlisle. Because I know of Zach Maxwell, it must have been in my head. <laughs> you credited oh. Zach Maxwell. Uh, um, see. Carlisle ju- is I, in there. I'm in there um, so for other things. But, uh, He's never had anything to do with Box Mag. I was. I, we cut together a TV spot too, like teasing this. Yeah. And I, I, it's it might be one of the proudest things I've ever made. <laughs> it's very stylish. I feel, I feel like I oh. nailed the the Fox Kids. 
All right, that's we're it. We're going to say goodbye. We'll see you, on the, see you yeah. on the holiday one. All see right. You later. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.